got a really great story for you today. It's called The Muppet Musicians of Bremen. And in case you're wondering, Bremen is a little town in Louisiana, about four miles north of Gogolala. Now the story began one day in an old farmyard. Into the yard clopped a donkey named Leroy. Now Leroy was pretty old and pretty tired because he'd spent the day pulling a great big wagon full of sacks. Now driving the wagon was a mean man named Mordecai Sledge. Yeah! I just want to get out of here! Yeah! I want to get home! Now that's Mordecai. We is home. And that's Leroy. Hold on now! We is home! Whoa! Now the fact is that Mordecai was the leader of a band of robbers, and he was just getting back from the railroad yards where he and his friends had been stealing stuff out of boxcars. This looks like a fine mess of stealing we did. <laughs> sure was fun whipping this stuff out of that boxcar when the guard wasn't looking. And the guard wasn't looking because they stopped him into a drain pipe. Didn't have time to see what we were stealing, though. Hope it's jewels and stuff. <laughs> Let's just open these sacks and see. What the plunge is this? A tuba? A trumpet? A what you call it, banjo? We just stole a whole Jim Shem and Garth Snarker orchestra. This junk ain't worth nothing. It's all your fault, Leroy. My fault. And old Mordecai, he picked up the tuba and threw it at poor Leroy. Ouch. And it landed around the poor donkey's neck. Leroy, if you could pull a wagon faster than a hog can waller in slops, we could have found some good stuff to steal before the guard got unstuffed from the drain pot. Actually, I was on the guard side. You were about as much good to me as a pot with an old bottom. It's time for you to retire. Retire? I'd love to retire. I'm gonna go in the house and get my gun and retire you proper. But not that way. Before he gets a chance to retire me, I just think maybe I'll quit. Okay, Leroy. I got my gun. This is it. But Leroy didn't like the look of that gun, so he gave his old master what you might call a little bit of a push. Ah! And Mordecai fell in the horse trough. Ah! So long, Mr. Sledge, sir. Ah! Oh, Lord. What? sitting on a fence post by an old farm road when who should come trudging along but Leroy the donkey. He was still pulling his wagon and he was still carrying that tuba around his neck and he was looking mighty draggy. Well, this rips her. Here I am on the road to nowhere. No roof to sleep under. No oats to eat. I give old Mordecai 18 years of hard work and what have I got to show for it? You got that wagon. Who said that? Oh, hey there, Mr. Frog. Hey yourself, Mr. Donkey. I said at least you got that there wagon there. Oh, yeah. I got the wagon, and it's mighty hard pulling, I can tell you. I suppose. But you got that there, uh, what you call a uh, tuba, too. You mean this big kind of twisty funnel thing? I don't even know what it's for. Oh, it's for music. Music? How do you play it? Well, I just uh, blow good and hard into the small end there. You're kidding. No, go ahead and give her a toot. Okay, but I feel like a jackass. Well, that kind of figures. Very good. What do you mean, good? That weren't music. That were honking. Well, yeah, that's true enough, but you got to do a little melody like, you know, like... Uh, Hey, I, I think I got ya. Let me try. Gee, that 
That was great. Quit your kidding now. You're really a traveling musician, aren't you? Who, me? Nah. Well, you should be. Everybody would like to hear you play that horn. They would? Why, sure. There must be a million donkeys in the world, and I bet you're the only one who can play the tuba. Yeah. Why not? I could be a traveling musician. Why, why, I might even go to some of the big cities like Bremen or Gogolala. And, and wherever I go, I can, I can play for folks. I'll, I'll play for the farmers and villagers and the townsfolk. And, and they'll give me things to eat and places to sleep at night. And they'll just love me all to crazy. I'm a traveling musician. Oh, there he goes, on the road to fame and go to lava. I'm on the road to somewhere, take my tube along with me. I'm on the road to somewhere, it's a lovely place to be. I'm on the road to fortune, I'm the only one around who can play on old man tuba with a hee-haw, hee-haw sound. I'm a traveling musician, just the best there be. I'm a traveling musician, a tuba playing donkey with a hee-haw hee. Now the next morning, in an old farmyard near Bremen, a rangy, tired old rooster sat on a windowsill of his chicken coop, trying to wake up. He was supposed to crow at sunrise to wake up his master, the farmer of hard pork, but he had overslept. Oh, dang, I'm late again, and here comes Farmer Lard Pork. Yes, sir. Lard Pork was waddling across the chicken yard, wearing his night clothes. Now, Lord Bork was a little overweight, uh, kind of chubby, stout. Uh, actually, he looked like a pig in pajamas. There he is, Elf of the Bayou. T.R., that's the second time this week I've missed my breakfast on Con I thought he was looking kind of scrawny. But I'm telling you, this ain't going to happen no more. <laughs> You ain't good for nothing around the barn no more, but you just might be kind of tasty around the white meat. Oh, boy. Lord Pork reached out a great fat hand to grab the rooster. <laughs> but T.R. flew off around the corner of the barn. Come back here, by dogs. There's going to be rooster stew for lunch. And with that, old Lord Pork went waddling off, looking for his axe. Isn't that terrible? Mm. Now, just at that moment, old Leroy the donkey came trotting down the road that ran right behind Lord Pork's barn. Well now, here's the right nice looking little farm. Wonder if anyone would like to hear a traveling musician round here. Now look at who's hiding behind the rain barrel. Hiding, Mr. Rooster. Shush up. Why, why should I shush? I'm a traveling musician. Don't you love me all to crazy? I'll beat you all to pieces if you don't shush up. Come closer. Explain. I'm listening, Mr. Rooster. My name's T.R., and right now T.R. stands for Terrified Rooster. How come? It's my master, the farmer Lardpore. He's out to get me in a stew pot. You don't mean... Yep, if Lardpore catches me now, my head'll go north and the rest of me'll be bound for Dixie. Well, that's terrible. Oh, fearsome way to die, son. No funeral, no coffin. Just dumplings. Listen, my old master, he wanted to do me in too, so I is run away, and now I'm a traveling musician. Traveling musician? You mean you're just wandering around the countryside singing for your supper? That's the idea. Might even go to Bremen Town. Got me a whole wagon load of musical instruments. Well, put me in overshoes and call me a duck. Hey, you got a banjo? I got one just 